Fabric has quickly become the most popular Minecraft mod loader, and in this video we're going to show you exactly how to download and install Fabric and Fabric mods for Minecraft 1.21.4. Let's get going. First things first, go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is our in-depth text guide on getting Fabric. From here, click on Download Fabric, and that will take you to Fabric's official download page where you want to click on Download Universal Jar here. The reason we're downloading the jar is because that will make getting Minecraft mods and things like that in the future a lot easier if you get the jar now. So let's go ahead and download Universal Jar, and when we do that, it's going to open up this where we need to keep or save Fabric. It's 100% safe to do that, so go ahead and save it there. And while Fabric's downloading, how about this from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to XYZ says SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server where you can easily add mods like fabric mods and mod packs as well as plugins to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want in just a few minutes. Plus there's expert live chat support there. So let's say you're playing fabric mods with your friends. You add like 20 mods to the server. You click start and the server doesn't work. Well, our live chat support team is there to help you out with any issues you may have with your server. Truly it is the best Minecraft server hosting out there. So go check it out at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown .xyz SGH and start your server and play fabric mods with your friends the simple way. Nevertheless, Fabric is now downloaded. We're also going to need to get the Fabric API. This is a, well, an API mod that is required by a lot of other Fabric mods, so I always recommend just going ahead and getting this when you initially install Fabric on your computer. And we have it, of course, linked down below. Once you're here, click on Download Fabric. It will take you to the official download page where you want to go to Files and then find the 1.21.4 version. How do you do that? Well, just sort it. Game versions 1.21.4. Here it is. Click the three dots and click Download, and it will begin after a few seconds. You'll notice a recurring theme that with anything we download, we're going to need to keep or save it. That's no different with the Fabric API. And now we need some mods. Now, there's two main places to get mods. CurseForge and ModRent, then when you're getting mods, you want to make sure that they are for Fabric 1.21.4. We can filter that. So on the left-hand side of CurseForge, click on Fabric, and then Game Version 1.21.4. All of these will work in Minecraft 1.21.4 with Fabric. Same with ModRent. We can filter. So we want to go to Fabric and 1.21.4, and all of these mods here will work without issue on 1.21.4 because we filtered correctly for the Fabric mod loader. Remember, Forge mods, NeoForge mods, they will not work with Fabric, or older mods will not work with fabric. They have to be for fabric 1.21.4 or your mods aren't going to work. Now unless we can now go ahead and get our mods we're going to be installing in this video. We're going to be doing waystones, bomb, and sodium. All of these are linked down below and this video will work for any fabric mod but I would recommend watching this part simply because you may install a mod and it not work because you skipped us downloading these because I'm going to be going over some important things. So as we go to files here we can obviously filter for our correct version and mod loader and then there it is. But don't stop here, because if you download this and you install it, it's not going to work. And that's because Waystone requires Balm, which is a compatibility mod. Many mods have this. How do you know? A lot of times it will be on the description page, but we can actually find it another way by clicking on this version here and then clicking Related Projects. As you can see, we have Balm, which is a required dependency. We also have the Fabric API. Now, we already got that, but as I mentioned, a lot of Fabric mods need it. This is one of them. So we want to make sure that we're downloading Bomb as well. To download, just go ahead and click Download here, and the download will begin. Again, it's going to take a few seconds. Then we can go ahead and move on to getting Bomb itself. We don't have to go through the same hoopla with this because we know kind of how to get it. And then you can click the dot three dots over here and click Download File, and that'll download the Fabric 1.21.4 version. And the last thing I want to mention is downloading on Modrinth and how you see dependencies there. And with Bomb downloaded, we're going to be using Sodium for our Modrinth mod. It's linked down below. This is our in-depth guide on getting it. But if you click Download here, it will take you to the official download download page. All you got to do is click on versions and then you'll find all of your sodium versions. You can again sort by platform. In our case, we're using the fabric platform and our version. And then how do you see the dependencies? Click on it. When you click on it here, you'll be able to see dependencies here if there are any. There aren't any for sodium, but if there were, it would say dependencies and it would list them and you could download them from there. We're going to go ahead and download sodium by clicking download here, clicking save, and there we go. Everything is downloaded. The hard part is pretty much over. Now all we've got to do is install Fabric and our mods. First, let's move them all to our desktop. So if we go to our downloads folder here, here are all the mods and Fabric that we downloaded. So we can see we have Sodium, which is a mod. We have Balm, which is a mod required for Waystones, which is a mod. And the Fabric API is also a mod. And then we have the Fabric mod loader here. Now at this point, we can go ahead and right click on the Fabric installer, click on Open With, 
click Java and click OK. And if that works, awesome. You can actually skip ahead in the video a little bit. But if it doesn't or you don't have Java here at all, you need to get Java 21. Java 21 is required for any Minecraft 1.21 mods, including all the ones we're installing, Fabric mods, all of that stuff. And we have this guide on how to get Java 21 specifically for Minecraft mods in the description below. It covers everything, including any issues you may have. We also have the jar fix link down below. First, get Java, then run the jar fix. What the jar fix is going to do is link all the jar files on your computer back to Java, making them work together. Nevertheless, with that done, we can now open up the Fabric installer by right-clicking on it, clicking on Open With, clicking Java, and clicking OK. That will open up the Fabric installer where you want to make sure 1.21.4 is selected and click Install, and you are going to be good to go. As long as Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are closed and you've played Minecraft 1.21.4 before, meaning just open it up to the main menu and close out of it, Fabric will have successfully installed. Click OK, close out of Fabric, and delete the Fabric installer because you don't need it anymore. Let's get our mods installed. To do that, we want to open up the Minecraft launcher. Then in the Minecraft launcher, you should have a Fabric installation. We can check this by going to Installations and making sure Mod it is checked. If we don't have modded check, Fabric's not there, but as soon as we check it, there it is. Fabric Loader 1.21.4. Do not play Minecraft using this yet. Do, do not play Minecraft. We need to install the mods before we play Minecraft, but we want to make sure we have this. If you don't have this, go ahead and click New Installation. You can name it anything you want, but I'm going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com because that's the easiest way to play Fabric Mods or Vanilla Minecraft with your friends. Go ahead and click this version's drop-down box here, and you want to find the Fabric release. You can actually search here. So if we search for Fabric, there it is. Fabric Loader 1.21.4. Click on that. Then I'm going to change the resolution so you all can see once we get better in game and click create in the bottom right. Now we have this simplegamehosting.com profile that most importantly is fabric loader 1.21.4 under it. That's what we're looking for. Now how do we install our mods? We'll just go ahead and hover over your fabric installation, either the one you created or the one that's there by default and click on the folder icon. Then you should have a mods folder. But if you don't, like I don't have one here, just go ahead and right click and create a new folder and title it mods. M-O-D-S all lowercase exactly like that and open your mods folder. Then drag and drop any fabric mods you want to install into this mods folder, whether it's just simply the fabric API or mods like Waystone or Sodium, just drag and drop them right here into the mods folder. Now we can go ahead and close out of this and play Minecraft using fabric. That can either be the fabric loader installation that was there if you had one or the one that you created. Click play, click play again. You just have to confirm that you're playing modded Minecraft and you know that and now Minecraft will open with your fabric mod installed. Now there's no real indication that things are installed with Fabric because it doesn't have a mod menu. You have to install a separate mod for that. But if we go to options and video settings, these are the sodium settings. And it's pretty clear here we've got quality and all that. It, it, these are sodium settings for sure. Now with that being said, we can go ahead and jump in game really fast and check out Waystone. So in game we have different Waystones here. We have this one that we can place down and this one just showing that they are working. Now obviously you can go find these and discover them and all that stuff around the world, but this is just showing that they are working. We can also go into creative here and see all of the different stuff that Waystone adds in right there, ready to be selected in creative. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. But you now know how to get fabric mods for Minecraft 1.21.4. We will see you in the next video. Subscribe for more content. And I'm out. Peace.